Hey humans, how's it going? It's Shiny Zidae here, and welcome to my recap of the dev stream that happened last week surrounding the Spa Day refresh that is going live tomorrow. That is right, the 7th of September. Owners who already have Spa Day will have all of the new benefits of all of the amazing things, and there are some cheeky little base game updates also coming to the game as well. But let's get into me recapping the Sims Guru live stream so you don't have to go watch the entire thing. So if I just have a quick look at my notes that I took while I was watching the live stream back on the VOD, which will be linked in the description below, there's a bunch of things that are being added, which we already knew about thanks to the leak, obviously from the trailer and stuff, and I highly recommend you go check out the trailer. I've done a video with reaction on that as well. Uh, but I do recommend you go check out the trailer. But the gist of it is that we're getting a new trait, which is the high maintenance trait. We're getting three aspirations. Originally, I thought we were only getting two. We're getting three aspirations. We're getting portable wellness items, which allow you to make money off of your wellness skills. And then a spa membership trait, which is the trait that comes along with the three new aspirations included in the refresh. But let's jump into more details. I've actually grabbed screenshots from the Guru stream to take you through. So let's have a looky-loo. So first we have this high maintenance trait, which I honestly think I'm going to be assigning to a lot of my Sims that already came as pre-mades or as Sims who kind of, I, I can see a lot of my snobby Sims being turned into high maintenance Sims instead. Uh, so with high maintenance, these sims require extra work to keep in good condition. Their problems sometimes appear trivial and may even appear out of the blue. These struggles can be remedied through mindful habits, which put them in a state of catharsis. Now, I can imagine this is kind of like the uh, short fuse and erratic. I can imagine it's going to be kind of that sporadic, random, tense, and annoyed about certain things. I can imagine if you've had a really long work day as well, you won't just be tense, you'll be like extra tense. I'm speculating here, but that's what I'm expecting from the high maintenance traits. Then we've got the three wellness aspirations. So this wellness aspiration group, which has been added like your love, your family, your popularity, etc., etc., gets this bonus uh, spa membership bonus traits which these sims somehow came into possession of a spa membership nobody is really sure where it came from and how to cancel it or who keeps paying for it each month but one thing is for certain all fees at the spa are waived nice basically if you have this bonus trait anything that you do at the spa is free for you i don't know if i'm 100 percent on board with this like I feel like it's something that should have been a reward trait instead that you have to work your way up with satisfaction points but eh We'll take it. So of the three aspirations, you got your self-care specialist. The sim wants to make it big with monetizing wellness activities like offering manicures or tending the massage table at the spa. And there's also some portable options as well. So you can do this in the park if you would like. Uh, inner peace. The sim is on a quest to achieve inner peace. Aw, I feel like I'm watching a, a sims version of Kung Fu Panda. Although true harmony is sometimes ephemeral, what's important is developing tools to help mitigate negative uh, emotions. And for those of you who don't know what ephemeral means, according to Google, means lasting for a very short time. Why couldn't you just say that, Sims? Sims honestly be teaching me more about the English language even well into my 20s. Whereas I've previously learned how to spell object and what the word miscellaneous means back in my younger years. Anyway. Zen Guru is the final aspiration that we get with the pack refresh, which is the Sim wants to share their mastery of wellness with the world and train a successor to pass on their knowledge. Anyway, so now we've jumped into Cass. And obviously the main thing that everyone is super duper excited about is the addition of nails. So in Cass itself, there is an option under accessories for nails and toenails. So fingernails and toenails. And then there's a whole bunch. So I actually counted on the Guru live stream. There are nine nails that are coming with the Spa Day pack. And then there are four that are coming to base game, which is probably the most exciting thing about this entire situation. Because when I made my videos about the uh, Spa Day pack refresh, everyone was asking, I wonder if nails are coming to base game. I wonder if nails are coming to base game. And I was like, aha, it's EA, I doubt. But actually, here you go. We have four very basic nail polish situations coming to base game. And then there are nine that are coming to the Spa Day Refresh, which have a whole bunch of different like looks and feels and stilettos and fancy acrylic vibes. But then there's also 
They pointed out this little plum block in CAS, which is actually created by a phenomenal creator who was already doing custom content for Nails way before The Sims ever included it, which I like that they have now included this in The Sims as well. And then they wanted to show us all of the new things. So there are two new additional massage tables and chairs. And the way they described it is these are the luxury ones and these are the portable ones. And what I also do appreciate is they put the normal ones here as well, or the normal, the regular ones that we got in the pack already, just to show you the difference, which honestly, so much from fancy, like this is entry level spa, membership height, like VIP behind velvet rope type situations. It's probably like heated and all those other things as well. I don't know, I'm talking complete nonsense now, but yay. And then the portable ones as well with all of the swatches. And then speaking of swatches, all of the towels and clutter items and candles and the little folded towels as well, as well as the robes, all got a massive swatch addition. So every color under the sun now. So if they continue on this trend of learning how to include swatches, hi, hello, hi, hello, hi, tons of new yoga mats as well. I think they're learning, everybody. I genuinely think they're learning. And they also made a note to point out the difference between the instructor yoga mats and the regular like yoga mats is they've added this little like logo on it to be able to differentiate. But as I said, look at the the uh, additional clutter items which come with more swatches, which is fun. And then these I already pointed out in the trailer and I think from the screenshot as well when it was still a leak is these are not in the game. And I'm excited that these are coming to the game because you don't always want the little like wellness, little meditation thingamabob where I can imagine some of my Sims are going to want to be more interested in these poof type vibe situation things. And then just another shot that I took when they happen to be scrubbing through uh, the world is I wanted to grab another screenshot of all of the new swatches coming. These candles I love, so I'm excited to have more swatches of those. And then uh, there's a mini fridge. That's here down at the bottom as well with a bunch of swatches. And then with that mini fridge, there are two quick meals that involve cucumbers. Now there's cucumber slices, uh, and uh, which basically function like chips, like a bowl of chips that the Sims, the, the animation is the same. And then there's the, what is it exactly called? Power sip cucumber? Um... Yes, Power Sip Cucumber from from drinking Power Sip Cucumber. Cucumber power, feel the power with more cucumber than your doctor recommends. I mean, apple a day and whatnot, you know. Uh, so that's happening there. And then obviously the facial masks, there's a ton of them. There's like, honestly, a ton. There's a ton. And obviously with the children, there's animal face masks that they have as well. So I actually thought in the trailer that it was just face paint. It's actually a face mask which you see, I don't know, on TikTok, you see those really, really terrifying, like, Disney princess faces, and then when you put it on the actual face, it's terrifying. At least in The Sims, that doesn't happen, and it just looks like face paint, because that's what I thought it was in the trailer. Uh, and then this is the interaction and the UI for when you're doing manicures, so when you're not in cast, and you want to have a manicure done, and all of those things, you've got your different nail shapes here with the... Um, community creators uh, swatches as well but there's like a ton of them with your different shapes and polish situations and then finally the creator with their fancy diamante bling bougie nails phenomenal all of my all of my all of my sims are going to be walking around like not being able to type on their phones and their keyboards for the next little while because they need to get used to their super long nails because I know I feel like that when I ever get my nails done. That is a short, sweet, and to the point wrap up of everything that was covered in the live stream. Obviously, there's a bunch more little details that I will be looking at when I actually get the update in my game to be able to explore and enjoy. Uh, and a lot of people have been asking for me to do a little bit of a replay through when we get to do the uh update which is coming on the 7th so look out for that it is free to people who already own spa day i feel like i need to explain this very carefully again all of these fancy things that come with spa day is free to those who own spa day if you don't own spa day you will get the base game nail polish those four that i showed you in cast but you still need to buy spa day to get the rest of the stuff but anyways uh, that is a short, sweet, and to the point video. Let me know if you're going to be playing the patch as soon as it releases tomorrow. I hope you have a fantastic one. As with all updates, if you're playing on PC, please remember to remove your mods and CC and all of those other things. And console, we just may the odds be ever in our favor, right? Because we hope that nothing breaks and 
corrupts our game files. But anyway, that's besides the point. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. As always, if you did, make sure to leave a like, subscribe if you are new around show. And remember that we all humor differently, and I'll see you guys again soon. Dag dag. Mm. Mm.